If you haven't been around Yu-Gi-Oh! recently, you might have missed the fact that a pointer of the Red Lotus is gaining a lot of popularity. So much popularity that is going up to about $15 a copy for a common out of one set. And the thing about a pointer of the Red Lotus is that it is an insanely powerful card if you're going first. Now, I'm going to make an argument today that uh, a pointer of the Red Lotus actually might be banned by Konami a, for a couple reasons. Now, the first reason is that a it's getting a lot of popularity now popularity doesn't of course mean that uh, a card will be inherently banned there's a lot of popular cards that are just fine like cards like upstart goblin or maybe pot of desires or ash blossom that's one that maybe should get hit just based off usage alone but one thing we have to realize about a point of the road lowest it is that it does many things that a lot of banned cards already do so let's compare it to a uh, trap dust shoot trap dust shoe is a trap that is on the forbidden limited list and you are not allowed to have any copies of this in your deck now, what I'm going to argue here is that Trap Dust Shoe is actually kind of a nerfed version of a Pointer of the Red Lotus. You could make the argument that a Pointer requires you to have a card in your hand and that you pay life points, but like uh, many other YouTubers will tell you, uh, life points really don't matter in today's game. The thing about a Pointer is that cards that A, give you information, and B, remove a potential threat from your opponent's hand are insanely, insanely powerful. Now, what I want to say here is that... Uh, a pointer, while the downside, I guess, is that the opponent gets the card back in their end phase, but the game is so fast nowadays that comparing that to Trap Dust Shoot, while it might as well just be shuffled back into the deck, because there's so many instances in which um, a pointer, that doesn't even really come up with a pointer, because you're removing the biggest threat from your opponent's hand, and you're scoping out uh, their turn so that you know how to control the game from that point. Uh, we've seen this with many other cards. It's not just Trap Dust Shoot. We've uh, seen this with, obviously, one of the most powerful cards in the game was the Forceful Sentry. And also, there's been other cards that do the same thing. Um, it's also important to keep in mind that uh, Confiscation did, uh, does essentially the same thing, and it reveals information about your opponent's hand. And, of course, you discard a card, you don't just banish it until the end phase. But even though the trap is very slow and... And this is a card that is just ridiculously powerful in the fact that information is now more important than it's ever been. Information just... If, if you have information, you can play around your opponent so much more easily. And I think that's one thing that Konami has realized with these cards in the past. Um, so if you compare a pointer of the Red Lotus to a lot of cards that have already been used and already been banned, I think this card actually could be ripe for getting hit in the near future. Maybe not in the next ban list, but this card, they pay attention to these prices. And the fact that it's a $15 common right now is probably going to put this card on their radar. And either it's going to get a reprint um which maybe it could get reprinted or i think this card could get outright banned um so let me know what you guys think about that i think uh, this the card could be on the chopping block and i think there's a good reason for it um but that's all i got for today guys so have a good one peace